A cheap projector can be a great way to spice up a living room or bedroom without breaking the bank. Picking a projector is challenging, as so much depends on the room you're putting it in and how you use it. Whether you want to set it up as a home theater for the family or outdoor camping trips and business presentations, you'll also want to know what you need to look for in terms of projector resolution and brightness for your intended purposes. Here are the best cheap projectors that you need to- Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1, Bank HT 2150ST Projector. The Bank HT 2150ST is admittedly on the higher end of the cheap projector category, but it's still worth considering, especially if you want a good projector for playing video games. This model boasts incredibly low latency, with just a 16 milliseconds input lag which means very little delay from when you press a video game controller button to when the action happens on screen. This budget projector also boasts a 1 1.69 foot throw ratio that gives you an extra 2 feet of image for every foot away from the wall or screen that the projector sits. This ratio is good as it will allow you to make a sizable projection when used in a small place, such as a child's bedroom or tent. The 2200 ANSI lumens allow the Bank HT 2150 ST to put on a generally solid show in dimly lit rooms, while the support for 1080p resolution and 15001 contra- Number 2. Kodak Luma 150 Pocket Projector. The disappointing 480p resolution on Kodak's Luma 150 projector rules it out as a primary home cinema projector, but its small size and stylish build make it an ideal solution as a projector for traveling, attending gatherings, or the occasional presentation with a client on location. In addition to the usual HDMI and USB connections, the Luma 150 also supports wireless casting from Apple, Android, and Windows devices. The 60 ANSI lumen hardware and low 1001 contrast ratio do limit projections to smaller and darker spaces, but its convenient size and support for tripods also add extra functionality that many may find are worth the trade-off if you're after an inexpensive portable projector. Number 3. Anchor Nebula Capsule Max. The Anchor Nebula Capsule Max projector features the usual HDMI and USB ports for connecting media, but its real claim to fame is its built-in support for the Android operating system, which allows it to run Android apps natively. You don't need to connect another device to the Nebula Capsule Max for streaming content, nor worry about copyright-protected content when casting Netflix or Disney+. You can run your favorite apps directly from the projector itself, as if it's a tablet or smart TV. You will need to use the Nebula Capsule Max smartphone app to control the apps you run on the projector. Though, another benefit of the Nebula Capsule Max project is its size. The size of a soda can, this cheap projector is very easy to pack for a trip and store at home when not in use. The anchor isn't perfect, though, offering just 4 hours of battery life, it'll need to be plugged into a power source very regularly. Its low lumen count can also affect its visibility in bright environment. Number 4. Philips Neopix Easy Projector. The Philips Neopix Easy is a budget projector worth looking at though it definitely isn't for everyone. While it does support HDMI, VG, USB, and microUSB sources, the output resolution is only 480p. It's a long cry from a proper 1080p HD resolution and an even further cry from what's available with a high-end 4K projector. This low resolution will likely be a deal-breaker if you want to watch movies and TV shows in high quality, but this also shouldn't bother children or casual viewers who don't have an experienced eye for image quality. There is no AV port on the Philips Neopix Easy, but the projector does come with an AV adapter so you will still be able to use an AV source, if that's what you prefer. The 40 ANSI lumens may also be an issue for media enthusiasts, as this rather low ANSI lumen count does decrease the projection brightness in rooms that aren't completely dark. The 3001 contrast ratio is solid, however, and the 3.5mm audio out- 